Cheers. The sweet, sweet taste of making pre-workout at home. Dancing, yes, yeah. What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSGA TV. This is the first time, welcome back to LSGA TV, welcome back to the home gym. Those of you who have not been subscribed to the channel for a while, uh, those who have been subscribed for a year or more, will know this place, or maybe even a few days because I uploaded a video in here a few days ago. But anyway, we're gonna be shoulder pressing today. We're gonna see how heavy we can go for one rep. Now, you guys know that around about a year or so ago, I hit 100 kg overhead press, one rep max. made an entire video, you guys loved it, it was great, it gave the channel good focus, it gave me good focus, something to focus on, which is what I need right now. So I'm gonna start off by seeing where we're at and then we're gonna compare it in a few weeks time once we're back training a little bit better, shall we say. So we're gonna start off with some good old home gym shoulder pressing. Drop this video a like if you are excited. If you're as excited as me, you're gonna really enjoy this video because I'm, I'm buzzing to kind of take things back to, back to basics, back to how it used to be, you know, back to how, back to the videos that I used to make. I used to shoulder press every single friggin' video. You haven't seen me shoulder press for six months. It's gonna be a good one. Let's do this team. Together, we will grow. Drop this video a like. Let's get into it. expecting this to be wonderful maybe expecting two or three reps on this I used to absolutely bash this out for four sets of friggin 12 but concussion in mind I'm not gonna be pushing myself too much because if you are pushing weight above your head and holding it you you're gonna rush a lot of blood to your head right kind of a given so we're gonna be taking it easy however I'm gonna push myself slightly because it's due, you know? Quite frankly, I'm bored. This concussion is boring me, if I'm honest with you guys. Like, I'm ready to friggin' train. I'm ready to go to failure, you know? All that kind of stuff, but my body just hasn't allowed me this past few weeks, or few months, I should say. But we're back. Kind of. Let's do this. Okay, we'll keep the reps low, three pieces of piss, let's stick a five on either side and see how we go. Oh God, I cannot even tell you, this, this is bringing me so much joy right now to be shoulder pressing in the home gym. It's freezing, I've got my hoodie on, I've got my joggers on, I hardly even ever wear joggers. And we're here shoulder pressing, you know. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, so. You're probably not, to be fair. But anyway, it is what it is, as they say in the biz. In a three, a two, a one. One. 
Yeah, that'll do. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. I say we stick a 10 on and we go for 80 for one rep. And then, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. It's the whole one rep thing, it's the whole explosive thing that I've been avoiding for this past few weeks. So, um, I'm not sure how it's going to go down. Probably won't go much heavier than that, to be fair. Um, but we shall see. Okay, this ain't going too bad, you know. A uh, little bit much of a jump for my liking, um, but I'll take it for now. That's just a confidence thing, I think. Uh, we'll get rid of that. But 80, do we go for 85 and then call it a day? If I can hold 85 above my head, I'll be very happy with that. Very happy with that. Ooh. Massive jump, but I'll take it. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. 85 kg. Well, we'll take that. Jump or no jump, like... The form needs clearing up, but one, confidence, oh yeah, see that's got my head going a little bit, that has. Let's take five minutes and we'll, we'll uh, do a little bit of fluff. We'll stick to shoulders today, just do some lateral raises, all that kind of stuff. You know, the fun stuff. Today's focus is to kind of film videos like what I used to. This is exactly what I used to do. I used to come into the frigging home gym, turn the heater on, put the frigging speakers on full blast, and shoulder press. That's what I used to do. That's what you guys know and love. So that's what we are frigging doing today. If you're excited, if you're enjoying this, drop it a like. But I'll take that and we will move on. Uh, hopefully, over the next kind of couple of weeks, we can improve on that form. And um, next few weeks, next couple of months, I should say. Uh, hopefully we can improve on that form and uh, improve on the physique overall by going back to how we used to. So we will see. Got a few things up my sleeve as well, people that, you're gonna like, like, you know, I've got some ideas, you guys, get, you guys gave me some very good ideas from that video, last video or the video before, where I basically said I need your help, you know, I wanna know what you guys wanna see. This is me doing, responding to exactly what it is that you wanna see, you know, I've got so many messages, well, I've got like three messages, but that's quite a lot, you know, considering it was a YouTube video, people went out of their way to message me and say, do videos like this. That's, um, that's quite a, it's quite a lot for a, a channel or a, an account if you like of this size so we'll take that <laughs> 85 kg for overhead press one rep max 100 is what we've got to be but i'd like to think that with a couple of years more training in my belt can hit that 100 with better form in a couple of months in a few months you know if i actually focus on this <laughs> I stopped before I got a headache. I would have done more if my head didn't throb. Oh yeah, I'll tell you that. Come on. Yes. See, you missed the dancing, you missed the dancing, don't you? Yes, you, yeah. Oh, right, let me turn the sound for copyright. So the thing is, right, that a lot of you guys uh, probably won't realise, because I've never really spoken about it, right? Shoulder pressing, I think, biomechanically suits me, like, the best. 
out of anything, right? Out of bench press, out of squats, out of literally any exercise. I think shoulder pressing, barbell shoulder pressing, suits me just down to the ground, right? In terms of where my strengths are, shoulders, triceps, a little bit in there, a little bit of traps in there, sorry. That's all you need for a strong shoulder press. They're kind of my strongest body parts, right? I do have high expectations of myself, you know? Even when I was at uni, I'd only been training five minutes. I was shoulder pressing heavy, but I was also very heavy body weight wise. You know, I weighed quite a lot when, uh, when I was at uni. We're talking 200 pounds. We're talking 30 plus pounds heavier than what I am right now with a lot less muscle. So probably 40 to 50 pounds worth of fat more on my uh, frame when I was at uni. So of course I was pushing heavy, you know? Weight moves weight, it's as simple as that. But biomechanically, my favorite movement is shoulder press and the movement that suits me the most is shoulder press. So I feel like because that is my strength, that's my strong point, I've kind of gravitated towards it the most out of all of my training, right? And that overall made my shoulders look a certain way. It made my shoulders pop, it made my shoulders round, it made them full. And they don't, to be honest, they don't have that same look. Now, yes, my other body parts have caught up slightly, so I have a slightly, not massively bigger, I know, but I have a slightly bigger chest than what I used to, obviously, with the machines down at UFB. Basically, my chest growth over the past like year has been much better than it has been in the past, right? I focus much more on mind to muscle connection rather than can I bench press 100 kilos for a few reps, you know? And that, in turn, has grown my chest. That, and with more time training, of course, it's gonna grow, you know? But shoulder pressing made my shoulders look a certain way, you know? And they don't have that same look because my chest is slightly bigger, obviously that evens out the shoulders. My arms are slightly bigger. That makes the shoulders look a little bit smaller because if you think about it, you have your arm like this. You need a bigger shoulder or a bigger arm for each or the other to look bigger, you know? This is why bodybuilders keep getting bigger and bigger because they grow one body part and then they need to grow the rest to kind of match it, you know? But anyway, that's not me, so anyway. At like a waste man, that's not me. So, yeah, a great song. Anyway, first year of uni that was. Um, speaking of throwbacks, shoulder pressing, uni throwbacks, God. Shoulder pressing made me look a certain way. And in my opinion, the way that I perceive myself in the mirror at the moment anyway, I don't have that same look. I don't have that pop in my, in my shoulders that I know and love to about my physique. I've always had strong shoulders. I've always been a strong overhead presser. I just have, right? Genetically, biomechanically, it suits me. I just have been strong at it. You need strong triceps, strong uh, shoulders, and strong traps, right? For a shoulder press. That's all you need. That's what I got, you know? Not necessarily strong everything else. I can shoulder press basically what I can bench press. But anyway, I'm excited to bring back that look because in my opinion, whether, whether you guys agree or not, if I, you probably do, like if I flex my shoulders like this on my love handles, you know, if I flex and then you try and pop the shoulders, that doesn't look the same as what it did a year ago, as what it did two years ago. And what's different about my training? The one thing really is I'm not shoulder pressing. I'm not barbell shoulder pressing. So we're bringing it back. And I'm excited for the changes that it's gonna to bring to my physique and hopefully, again, the way that I perceive myself in the mirror, you know, there's, with concussion going on, training being crap, stressed and all this with work and plenty of other stuff as well. Whether you like it or not, or whether I like it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that affects the way that you physically look, right? And not only that, it affects the way that you perceive the way that you look, you know, the way that you look in the mirror um, can be completely different because your mind plays games with you, you know, it can be completely different to the way that someone else perceives you. However, the photos don't lie, you know, you put me side by side three, four, five months ago to now and I look like crap now. So yes, there's plenty of reasons for that, but either way, I still don't like it, you know, so I'm going to do something about it. And one thing that I'm doing to do something about it is shoulder pressing. Come, come. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, you can see a little bit more of the puppy, can't you? Can't they just see? Say hello, say it's been so long. There's no toy over there, dog. Yeah? No toy over there. You only got me, Sals. But seeing the home gym, seeing the pup, um, is going to become a lot more frequent, especially over the festive period. So if you are excited for that, give this video a like. And uh, come here, Jesse. Sit. Oh, who's a good girl? Poor. 
Yes, clever girl. Clever girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, that feel nice. That feel nice. <laughs> Everybody loves seeing a puppy on a dog on a uh, on a dog channel on a YouTube channel, don't they? Max has dude. Christian has Nala. I got a little Jesse pup. Don't know puppy. Yes. With that said though, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to round off today's video. That is going to round off the shoulder press session. That is going to round off me being back in the home gym. Stay tuned for me starting a home gym of my very own in the very near future. Uh, I've got something up my sleeve a little bit later today, actually, uh, to hopefully kind of get that kicked off, you know. We'll have a little something, something that uh, you guys are... Well, I'm gonna like it a lot more than you guys, but you guys will be interested to, to see, you know? So drop your comments in the comment section down below. Have you enjoyed this one? Let me know what you think. I'm gonna expand my own home gym because obviously this is at mum and dad's house, right? I don't have access to this every day anymore. So if you have enjoyed this one and you're excited for the content that is to come over the next couple of months, over the festive period, we're gonna level up people. I hate that saying, but we are, you know? Together, we will grow. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you've made it to this point in the video and you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. We're clearly going to get along, you and I. Maybe. For a little while, anyway. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.